What's going on guys, it's Austin from City Bros Coasters. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. We have an exciting video for today, so let's just get right into it. Guys, it's snowing outside currently. And I was like, uploading today's video, I forgot that, um, in the video I actually forgot to put the loser challenge that my brother has to do. So I'm actually gonna add this to this video, and we're gonna get his reaction. So the, his uh, loser punishment from losing ping pong to me yesterday um, will be coming up soon. And if you haven't watched that video, should be the last one before this. I have all the Vlogmas videos if you did miss one in a playlist, so you can just watch them there. All right, guys. So here's the Chick-fil-A nasty drink. It's old sweet tea. It's like water, but then I'm gonna add some stuff for my fridge in it. So let's see what we got in here. All right, we don't have a whole lot of good stuff to put in, but I do see something right off the bat. Get some, let's put some of that in. Um, yeah, it would be like, actually might be good. Uh, Arnold Palmer, maybe some soy sauce too. Just soy sauce down here. Yeah, we're gonna put some soy sauce and lemon juice in it. And we're gonna make him drink it. I'm just gonna say it's old sweet tea. We're gonna put this stuff in it as well. All right, so let's take some soy sauce here. We'll be generous. Make it a little bit darker so it looks like tea. Stir it up a little bit. And we'll add some lemon juice. And he just thinks this is like old sweet tea. That's pretty good color. All right, I think it's gonna be good. All right, we'll get his reaction. Do it up there. Evan, what? Remember your uh, you lost to me in ping pong yesterday. So you never did a punishment. I said there has to be a punishment. I agree. Well, too bad. Just drink it, man. No, I'm not gonna drink it. One sip. Here, I'll take Fine. a sip of it. Was it good? No. <laughs> I put soy sauce and lemon juice in. Guys, my dog just got back in from outside. She was in the snow. You can see real well on her black fur. Little snow droplets. Eloise. My sister just made me a peppermint mocha from our house, from our home. So it's not from Starbucks and it's pretty good. It's actually almost, it's not as pepperminty. It's like Starbucks, but pretty good it's a hot beverage it had like some whipped cream and like chocolate syrup on it peppermint but yeah it, thanks to my sister for making that I do have a sister by the way if you didn't know that but yeah it's pretty good hits a spot on a cold day a piping hot beverage guys it's a tie game I just show you guys any other highlights Earlier in the game, but it went into overtime, tied at 24. Raiders have a chance to win it if they score a touchdown. Field goal, the Chargers will get a chance. But this is a really good game, Thursday night football game from Las Vegas. It's kind of funny, earlier, John Gruden was wearing a, uh, coach of the Raiders was wearing a Oakland Raiders, where they used to be located. So he had to change it at halftime. That's pretty funny, though. Ooh, they're getting close. I'll update you guys if anything happens and who wins the game. Big play right here for the Raiders. They got the first down. Anyway, the Raiders had Derek Carr as starting quarterback, but he got hurt. So Mariota's come in and led the Raiders to tie this game up. They were down to the Chargers, so John Gruden and Mariota have done a really good job. Played a pretty good game for the Chargers and um, and this uh, Raiders team. All right, guys, they got three chances to get it in here. Stopped first chance. Second chance to get it in. Oh, he slipped. Okay, they have third down and fourth, but they'll probably kick a field goal if it gets to fourth down, I would think. All right, this is their third chance to get it in. Oh, that's blocked. 
So let's see if they can get a field goal here. Then they would have to stop the Chargers from scoring a touchdown and or get a three and out to win. It appears they are kicking the field goal. They made the field goal, so they're ahead. They just need to get a stop. Chargers driving. Deep pass. He's got him. That's a touchdown. Oh, wow. He tackled him as a one. What a great pass. Oh, my gosh. No way. Justin Herbert. Chargers on the brink of winning this game. Let's watch the replay. Man, this Raiders defense is terrible. Wow. It was even underthrown. He was saying it could have been a touchdown if he would have threw it deeper. That would have been ball game. Wow, what a big pass. Up to you guys if they score here. Here's that catch again. Throws it deep. Catches it at the one. Guys, third down. Justin Herbert dove in the end zone at the one. He fumbled it. It was recovered by the Chargers, but he has to be the one that recovers it inside two minutes. They do it again. It looks like they got a touchdown. Hit the ball to plane. I think that's a touchdown. That's going to be hard to overturn, too. Call him a field's a touchdown. Herbert said, was it in? Dove out. Oh, wow. No way. What an extra effort, extra push. He was stopped initially, and he pushed it through at the end. Wow, that's crazy. Chargers win. Good win for the Chargers. Justin Herbert, he's going to be a good football player someday. But a good effort from the Raiders. Ra their starting quarterback was out. But Mariota came in and did a good job. Derek Carr got hurt, but yeah, great win for the Chargers in overtime. That's a great Thursday night football game. Anybody's a fan of football, regardless what team, that's, you have to admit that was just a good game. It is a little frustrating if you're a Raiders, Raiders fan, though. Got the Suns and Lakers on NBA TV. Suns in the white. Wait. Guys, five days, 21 hours, 30 minutes till the NBA season starts. Sun scores 20 to 12. Sun's got off to a good start. Still playing pretty good. Oh, that's a good pass. Damian Jones from D Book. And one play. See they show the replay. See the replay here. Nice. Now they're up by ten. He has up eight on the score. House of play Friday. Same time. Or actually ten thirty, I think. On ESPN. Suns and Lakers, same team. Got my son's hoodie on. Guys, the Suns are currently down. They were ahead last time I showed you guys, I'm pretty sure. But Lakers went ahead in the second quarter. Halftime they were ahead, but Suns came back. Cut it to, it's now a, I believe, seven point game. There's a countdown, guys. Five days, 20 hours, 28 minutes till the NBA season starts. Yeah, it's 55-48. I'll keep you guys updated on the game, though. Guys, the Suns are currently down. They were ahead last time I showed you guys, I'm pretty sure. But Lakers went ahead in the second quarter. Halftime, they were ahead, but Suns came back. Cut it to, it's now a, I believe, seven-point game. There's a countdown, guys. Five days, 20 hours, 28 minutes till the NBA season starts. Yeah, it's 55-48. I'll keep you guys updated on the game, though. 
Guys, Devin Booker just hit a three. Suns are up by four now. They kind of come back. However, LeBron is on the bench. This book. Boom. Guys, Jared Dudley, the former son. And number 10 right there. End of the game for the Lakers. Coming back to the Suns Arena. Guys, Bridges just hit a three, so the Suns are up by nine. Guys, Booker and Paul and A and aren't playing. LeBron Davis not playing. It's preseason; they don't really play in the fourth quarter. But the Suns are down by five. It's still been a nice to beat the Lakers, but we'll get another chance. Hopefully, we can beat them then. Guys, the Suns made a two. So it's 110 Lakers, 107 Suns. Suns had a couple chances to get a three-pointer, but missed. So the Lakers pretty much had this. There's only one second left on the clock. Made his free throw, but let's zoom in here on the 1.8 seconds on the clock. Yeah, so the Lakers pretty much won this. But they played pretty good, though, till the end there. What's going on guys? You know me, it's Austin. I'm just gonna be talking about some different, there's like six topics I wanna talk about. And like an update, cause I like talking to you guys. And I could tell you like vlogging, but I could, some of you like sit down videos. So I decided to do this, my first time like ever doing this. Um, I don't think I've ever done one of these before, but anyway, um, I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. I know I am making the videos. It's definitely really fun to make. I enjoy making videos as well as um, doing a bunch of crazy stuff, doing just vlogging my everyday life. So, and doing it especially for 25 days of Vlogmas. So, um, 20, lead, the 25 days leading up till Christmas, vlog every single day, uploading. Definitely enjoying that. So, this video right here you're actually currently watching is actually historic in some ways. I mean, not really, but. It's actually my 350th upload on my YouTube channel. I've had 350 uploads. That's a pretty big number. Even like a bunch of famous YouTubers. I mean, most of them have, some of them have over that amount. But there's quite a few successful people that have even uploaded 350 videos. 350 videos is a lot of videos. Now, I will say not everyone's super long. Like, normal videos like 10 to 20 minutes. Some may be like, minute two minutes like maybe even some 30 seconds because when i first started i didn't even know editing was a thing so i would just upload single video and so that could, video number could be blown out of proportion but believe it or not i actually have over 90,000 channel views on my youtube channel so that's a lot so if you spread out the uploads i would give you a number that'd be like about 300 views per video but obviously not every video gets the same amount of views but that's just to put it in perspective I know some videos get thousands of views some videos get hundreds some videos get 50 hundred views it just depends really but anyway yeah so 90,000 views and actually believe it or not I started this YouTube channel back in 2016 so this is my fourth year on YouTube now, I literally started and I wasn't even at Coaster Channel, I was just uploading random videos, like, I think my very first video I ever uploaded was sledding, literally, the backyard of my neighborhood, and like, that's where I started my YouTube channel. Not my, like, topic of my YouTube channel now, which is coasters, vlogs, and all kinds of stuff, and, but yeah, so, that's my very first video. I, I, I uploaded a video, because I didn't even know if you could, like, I thought you had to have something to upload a YouTube channel like I was watching all these YouTubers and like what if I started a YouTube channel I think it would be pretty cool just for fun like as a joke and uh, yeah or not as a joke but just kind of fun I didn't even know if I could upload I thought you had to have a special something so I uploaded a video I'm like fine I just uploaded a video to YouTube so that was a good way to save like memories and stuff so I thought why not start a channel that's what, how I did the coaster but anyway long story short after that I've actually really really truly enjoy making all the videos during Vlogmas as well as coaster videos and uh, in different theme parks. I've actually, because I've had this YouTube channel and I love 
have a passion for roller coasters. I've actually traveled to quite a few different places um, around the U.S., different theme parks. I mean, I've been to Disney, all parks at Disney, a long time ago back when I was like younger. I didn't know vlogs or on the channel because that's before I started YouTube, but I've always had a passion for roller coasters, theme parks. And yeah, so, I mean, I went to Cedar Point. I think I've been to Cedar Point, uh, Dollywood, Kentucky Kingdom, Holiday World, Mount Olympus, Rare Park in Wisconsin. Up there has a lot of good wooden coasters. And yeah, and uh, I think there's, uh, I'm probably forgetting one, Kings Island, obviously in my home park, but in sm smaller parks like Coney Island and stuff, and all kinds of different small parks and stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of lists, but that being said, I really enjoyed making these videos during Vlogmas. I thought, hey, why not do something to Christmas? Even because we're not having Winterfest, so I'm like, I would normally be uploading Christmas videos, Winterfest videos during this time, but since pandemic, Kings Island did have a Winterfest, and yeah, it just wasn't going to work out with all the things, because they would have had no ice skating, probably, and they would have not included something, so they wanted to make it to the fullest event. They didn't want to like downgrade it from years past, so that's probably one of their speculative reasons of mine why they didn't have it. Um, but yeah, so I want to do this back to what I was saying. I want to do this vlogmas for fun. It would be nice to do like vlogs in the park, vlogmas during the park, but maybe that's sometime in the future down the road. I could do that for Christmas if King Island's Winterfest opens back up. If yeah, if King Island's Winterfest. Um, is open next year which I'm hoping it will uh, maybe I could do something like that but yeah definitely the reason why I keep uploading these videos it's not for views it's not for this it's, I really have a passion of it and I like to document stuff to have memories of it and different things and I want to share that with other people that like the same things I do roller coasters theme parks so yeah okay I've said a lot talked a lot but with that being said, I have a couple more things to say, and then this video is pretty much done. Anyway, this is like, I'm just stating this because I haven't talked to the camera like in a while about like announcements or anything. Like, so anyway, I have this beard right here, and at a thousand subscribers, I will be shaving it off completely, not trimming it, not like shape, not like touching it up at all, not trimming it. Nothing like that. It's completely shave off, clean shave at a thousand subscribers. That doesn't mean I won't be trimming it up. I'm not gonna like grow it down to here. I gotta keep it like looking like nice and manageable and stuff like that. Not like James Harden down here, even though that'd be cool. But yeah, I can't go to work with like a beard like that, but um really long and stuff. It would be cool though. But yeah, so I will be trimming it up, but not I don't have any plans to shave it off completely unless I reach a thousand subscribers. So I think it's kind of like a fun little thing to do. Um, shaving my beard at a thousand subscribers. So making that announcement. And yeah, believe it or not, we are only 674 subscribers away. It may sound like a lot. It's like twice the amount I have now, but we are literally, if you think about it, more than over a third of the way already there, or yeah, almost a third of the way there to a thousand subscribers. You can definitely do it. And yeah, I can't. I wonder when that that day will come where I have to shave my beard completely off. I don't know, but hopefully it's not during No Shave November. But I mean, I'm still gonna do it regardless, as I said in this video. But anyway, well, I'm gonna wrap this talk up. It's like good to talk to you guys face to face. Can just talk about stuff. If you guys have anything you want to talk about, just like leave it in the comments. I read every single comment to my videos. There's not a ton of comments, so it's a lot easier for me to read it whereas like if you had a thousands and hundreds of thousands of comments it's harder to read every single one but I read everyone all like heart hearted on YouTube and stuff to let you know I read it and stuff and yeah and the last thing I have for you guys this weekend so this video is coming out on Friday but I am actually filming this on a Thursday so I will be filming video Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And let's just say th things I'm filming Saturday and Sunday 
may not be in this area it may be somewhere else so Sunday and Monday's video there the video might be let's just say in a different state let's leave that that it will, will not be in Ohio so you have to maybe wonder where that's gonna be I'm not gonna spoil it you'll have to subscribe down below turn the notification bell on if you guys want to know where that is so you don't miss the next post and the next post of where that will be it's a pretty exciting thing it's definitely something cool I've never been to this place before I've I don't even I don't want to say anything else because it might spoil it but I will say this though actually no I'm not saying anything you guys just have to subscribe down below drop a like if you enjoyed this particular episode and yeah I'll see you guys in the next videos other than that I'm Austin and I'm out peace yeah, I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so I can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels